నవంబర్ ట్వంటీ సిక్స్త్ న మనం కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ అడాప్ట్ చేసుకున్నాం కానీ జనవరి ట్వంటీ సిక్స్ నా మనం రిపబ్లిక్ డే సెలబ్రేట్ చేసుకుంటాం ఏంటి ఇట్ వెస్ డోంట్ వరీ నేను వచ్చాను నేను చెప్తాను on that note let us talk to the point about the constitution day of india hello all this is pranati today we are celebrating samvidhan divas which is the constitution day of india to begin with in 1934 mn roy for the first time proposed the idea of constituent assembly in 1935 indian national congress considered it for the first time as its official demand and in 1938 pandit jawahar lal nehru has said the constitution of free india should be made by the constituent assembly elected by the adult suffrage without any outsider interference initial ga britishers e demand ne accept cheyaledu but during second world war due to consequent international pressure 1940 lo vallu ee constituent assembly demand ne accept chesaru as a part of august offer ee august offer constituent assembly ni accept chesindi but only after second world war idi ela ante mana nana cheptaru kada neeku bike eppestanu kani only 95% osthe prapancham mottham telusu manaki 95% raadu ani so it is indirectly saying no coming back 1942 lo crips mission ni india ki pampistharu britishers to negotiate with india but crips proposals ni Indian National Congress and also Muslim League tend to reject this. The reason is, Crips proposals lo India ki dominion status grant this. But in 1930, we made it clear that we want Poona Swaraj, complete independence, nothing less than that. That is 1930. Now, in 1942, we have dominion status in 1942. So, we rejected the Crips proposal. Hence, Crips mission failed. Cut chest in 1946 low cabinet mission of China India ki. and the members of this cabinet mission are Lord Patrick Lawrence, Sir Stafford Cripps and Alexander and the proposals of this cabinet mission which is called cabinet mission plan is accepted by both INC Indian National Congress and also Muslim League. Result of chese constituent assembly form a indi. Now let us see the composition of constituent assembly. A constituent assembly law, it has representations or representatives from both princely states and also British presidencies. 10 lakh population ki okka seat proportion law seats allocate chesaru. So total members of the constituent assembly or chesi 389, andu lo 296 were representing British India and 93 people representing princely states. British India ki sambandh china 296 seats ni indirect ga elect chesaru. In indirect elections, lo, Congress won 208 seats and Muslim League won 73 seats and rest 15 seats are independents. The beautiful thing is, a constituent assembly elections indirect Aina Kuda. It has representations from Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, Anglo-Indians, Dalits and also there were 15 women to accommodate the interest of every community. So that's it with the composition of constituent assembly. Now let us see it's working. 1946 to 1949, it took 2 years, 11 months, 18 days to draft the constitution. And nearly 64 lakhs were spent on this process. The constituent assembly met for the first time on 9th December 1946. And the senior most member, Dr. Sachidhananda Sinha, was elected as a temporary president of that constituent assembly. Soon after, elections were held on 11th December 1946 and Dr. Rajendra Prasad was elected as the president. H.C. Mukherjee was elected as vice president and B.N. Rao was selected as constitutional advisor of the constituent assembly. On 13th December 1946, Jawaharlal Nehru has come up with objective resolutions. And that was adopted by the Constituent Assembly on January 22nd, 1947. The objective resolutions talks about on what principles we should make our constitution. And later, the same objective resolution has become the preamble of our constitution. Manam Ipad Varku Matlar Tundi, 1946 Kurinchi. Kani 1947 lo Mount Batten partitioned India into India and Pakistan. As a result, 
few representatives from the constituent assembly has moved to pakistan and the result of that constituent assembly has come down from 389 to 299 so prati sari e 299 members ki information pass chesi assemble ayi decisions teeskodan kashtam kada and they they formed committees one of the important committee is the drafting committee the drafting committee was formed on august 29th 1947 and it has seven members and these members are dr b r ambedkar k m munshi sayed mohammad sadulla gopala swami ayyangar madhav rao alladi krishna swami ayyar and krishnamachari after so much research analysis and modification dr ambedkar finally submitted the draft of the constitution to the constituent assembly on 4th november 1948 to make discussions on this draft the constituent assembly has met for 165 days and made 2000 amendments before finally adopting it and finally the constitution was adopted on 26th november 1949 which we celebrate as the constitution day but again we celebrate republic day on january 26th why is that so number 1 on november 26th we just adopted the constitution but the constitution came into force on january 26th and why only this january 26th it's because 20 years back which means 1930 on the same day we made it clear to the british government that we want poona swaraj complete independence nothing less than that to honor that moment we are considering january 26th 1950 as a republic day now let us see some interesting facts about our constitution it is the longest written document it is 30 times the american constitution yes you heard me right it's 30 times the american constitution the original constitution is in hindi and english and it has 234 pages yanta weight unda chanukuntunaru 5 kgs 10 kgs no it has 13 kgs it was neither typed nor printed but hand written by prem bihari narayan rai sada he took 6 months to complete it kudos to his patience manam okka roju upsc answer writing practice cheyamante so upsc answer sheet ledu pilot pen ledu anni unte raayadaniki question ledu ani excuses cheptam excuses will take us nowhere it's now or never coming back the images on the constitution document was by acharya nandulal bose and the introduction page was done by ram manohar sinha the original constitution has 395 articles 12 schedules and 22 parts currently the indian constitution consists of 448 articles 12 schedules and 25 parts and till now we amended our constitution 106 times What is the 106th constitutional amendment about? Let me know in the comments. Pakistan has had four constitutions since its independence and Sri Lanka has had four constitutions and Nepal has had five constitutions. But we have one and only one constitution since independence because of the flexibility it gives us through amendments to address the changing demands hence making it the living document. That's it for now. happy constitutional day if you find this video useful do leave a like because that motivates us to come up with more quality content until next video this is pranadi signing off